Hi, my name is Emily Medell. I'm here with what I call my weekly happiness video where I read aloud this week's featured article. This week's article is a brand new one that I've just written. It's called The Easiest Way to Reset Your Mindset and Thrive. Is your current mindset helping you or hurting you? How do you most want to feel in this moment? When you become aware of your current frame of mind and you get clear on how you would like to feel, you are taking important steps that will help you reset your mindset. But how you want to feel might be miles away from how you're actually feeling right now. When we're in a mindset funk, it can feel like an impossible undertaking to move through what feels heavy on our hearts and minds. Simply knowing how we want to feel in these cases is not enough to bridge the gap to get back to a place of thriving. On the days we need a mindset reset the most, it will require something a little extra to help us feel like our best selves again, or at the very least, a brighter version. It turns out there is a relatively simple way to reset your mindset to thrive. It's all about using the power of gratitude to feel your way back into alignment. This past year has been a bumpy ride for everyone on a human journey. I've turned to these gratitude practices more than a few times to pull myself out of the dreaded mindset slump. Next time you find yourself ready for a mindset reset, give these three gratitude practices a try and see what shifts. Gratitude practice number one, name it aloud. What are you grateful for right now? It doesn't have to be something notable. When it comes to gratitude, sticking to the basics is the easiest way to say what you mean and mean what you say. There is no sense pretending. That won't help you shift out of a mindset rut. When you have an idea of what you are grateful for, say it aloud to yourself or to whomever is within earshot. If you have more than one reason to be grateful, list them all. Better yet, turn them into a song. It doesn't have to sound good to anyone but you. There is power in bringing your thoughts and words to life. Use your voice to get on the path of noticing more of what is going well in your life. Gratitude practice number two, write it down. Write down all the reasons you're grateful, small reasons, big reasons, and all the in-between reasons. Putting pen to paper is an effective way to give meaning to your words. Writing by hand is good for the brain and for well-being, according to Oxford Learning. Writing about feelings can improve mood and give a sense of well-being. Putting pen to page helps flesh thoughts out in an orderly manner, leading to burdens feeling lighter. When you write down a gratitude list, you'll also have it as a reference for later. You can use your list as a reminder of what is most important to you. Having these extra reminders can help you maintain a more hopeful perspective. And finally, gratitude practice number three, feel it to believe it. When you allow yourself to feel gratitude, you give that feeling a home. There is no reason you have to wait for outer circumstances to change in order to feel better. You can practice feeling better right now by soaking in a deep appreciation for everything that you do enjoy about life. You can even start your mindset reset with this practice. Close your eyes and bring to mind something you were thankful for. Choose something that you believe with all of your heart. If it feels right, place your hand over your heart with your eyes closed, take some deep, intentional breaths in. As you exhale, slowly release the stagnant energy and tension from your body. Put your attention on inhaling a deep sense of love and appreciation and releasing all that doesn't feel good. Our point of attraction is the present moment. As such, we give ourselves a huge gift when we allow what we love to have a starring role in how we feel right now. At the end of the day, know that all things will come to pass. Be gentle with yourself no matter where you are on your journey. There is no quota on experiencing bright moments that feel good. While you are alive, you'll always deserve to thrive. What does happiness feel like to you? So that is this week's featured article, the easiest way to reset your mindset to thrive, and it will be up on my website, emilymedill.com, and it will also be up on thriveglobal.com. I will include a link below this video to the article in case you want to have a read through or to share it out um, with someone who you'd like to brighten their day. Um, and I'll also include a link. I send out a weekly happiness note every Thursday morning. I've been sending that out for the last seven years. 
um, and it goes out, as I said, every Thursday morning and it includes um, articles and videos like these, just some helpful, simple tips and strategies to feeling your best. Um, so I'll include a link to how you can sign up for those free notes. And when you do sign up, um, there is a free e-course offering as well. It's called the Self-Care um, Success Course, Adopting a Self-Care Mindset That Sticks. Um, so if that's helpful to you, I'll include those links. And I'll also include links to a couple of additional resources that might be helpful to you on your journey. The first is called the Fall in Love with Your Life, One Week at a Time book. It's a journal style book with one weekly focus and opportunity to um, write yourself reflections and journal right inside of the book. And this is all about enhancing your self-awareness and um, just taking small steps each day and each week to create new habits of thinking and being that will set you up to feel good. That's what this book is all about. Again, it's the Fall in Love With Your Life, One Week at a Time book. I will include a link below this video to the book. Um, it's also available up on Amazon and other um, online retailers. And then there also is the Fall in Love With Your Life Seasonal Planner, a heart-centered feminine way to organize your time. And this is a planner, well, it's more than a planner. Um, I launched it out back in the fall and it is a weekly ritual practice. So this, this book will cover you for a three month season. Um, it's full color and it's more like a resource book and an opportunity to um, every week to sit down and to um, really tune inward and to look at your self-care and the and your intention for the week and to um, just get into that that um, habit and practice of being intentional about how you are being each day and how you want to feel and just putting some small steps in play um, on a weekly and daily basis. So I will include a link to this planner as well. And again, that will uh, cover you for one season. It is undated, so you can start it at any point in time. Um, and there's some additional like balance wheel exercises and some other self coaching type tools inside. And again, this is also all about um, just putting small practices in play to help you feel your best um, by your own definition. So I will include links to that. And again, I just want to thank you for tuning in. I hope something here was helpful to you that planted a seed or two, um, probably not new ideas, but maybe just a reminder um, to yourself to give yourself that gift of tuning inward, of um, just resetting when you need to, and to know that you can always look to gratitude as a way of um, brightening your day and putting um, whatever's going on for you, whatever challenges are in front of you um, in perspective to help ease it a little bit, um, if not put you on the path to feeling better. So I hope something was helpful here. Thank you for tuning in and I look forward to connecting again with you soon. Thank you.